Hi, welcome back to Remote Strumming. My name is Kodrutz. I'm going to show you today how to play a double time folk strum. A pattern like this will usually have two down strums on the first beat and then on the second beat a quick break before doing a up down up. Let me show you how it works using a B minor chord. Down, down, wait, up, down, up. The chords I'm going to use in this progression are B minor, for which I'll use a barre on the second fret with the index, which means I'm pressing all the strings. And then with the ring, I'll press the fourth string on the fourth fret. From here, I'll do a G major, keeping everything from B minor and adding the middle on the 2nd string 3rd fret. Then I'll play a D major by keeping the index on the 2nd fret and adding the little finger on the 1st string 5th fret. Then for the last chord A major I'll slide with the index on the 4th fret then adding the middle on the 2nd string 5th fret and the ring on the 4th string 6th fret. The easiest way to change the first three chords is in the fact that all of them use the same finger on the second fret, like this. B minor, G major, D major, and from here, moving the index and quickly adding the other two fingers like in an F major shape, you get an A major chord. Let me show you how the pattern works. One, two, one and two and... If all of these chords are new to you, I would suggest practicing them first, strumming twice or four times down if you want on each one of them before attempting to use the pattern. Let's start with a B minor on the second fret, then adding an extra finger for G major, then keeping the index, adding the little finger for D major, then sliding to the fourth fret and adding the extra two fingers for an A major. Ready? One, two, one, and two and D, G, D, slide for A, back to B minor, one, two, change, one, two, change, one, two, A, one, two. Let's do the same thing four times if twice for each chord was too difficult. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, G major, one, two, three, four, D major, one, two, three, four, A major, one, two, three, four, again, B minor, two, three, four, G major, one, two, three, four, D major, one, two, three, for A major, one, two, three, four. This pattern uses two beats, so it's important to strum and count in two beats. You'll have to say one and e and a, or down, down, up, down, up, having a rest on the second beat. If you want, you can practice that several times on the B minor chord, then several times on the G major chord, then on the D major, A major, after which you can try to play at the same time with me in the next section. One, two, one and two, B, G, D, A, back to B, G, D, A, B, G, B, A, Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you're new and let me know if you have any new suggestions for strumming and finger picking patterns. Thank you.